this is the octopus. Octopus. Tandoori pizza. So you've got the octopus, you've got the squid ink bait, and then you've got some chili and some green chard on here as well. I'm really looking forward to this. So, Peter, go. I'm in. You're in. Taste it. Tell us what you think. Look at the, the, the back of this. It's black. Black as the night. Okay, this is by far definitely the weirdest pizza I'm ever tasting. Tastes really good, right? I mean, the squid ink dough doesn't add a lot of flavor, just adds characteristics to it. The ingredients on top, super succulent. Mm. I do want to try the, the squid, or it's octopus, octopus sorry, octopus. Creamy, flavorful, not chewy at all. Very, very, very tasty. A thin base pizza, how I like my pizzas. Very thin. So it looks like it's got some Nigella seeds on it, little black sesame or Nigella seeds on there. Okay. Could the octopus be slightly more seasoned or is it just me? But if this was your place, is there anything you would add to it? Would you add garlic, a garlic flavor to it? I don't think it needs it. Again, I think it's a, a tiny touch of it might be in the oil. So we're not. So you can see with the celeriac chips, uh, roasted cherry tomatoes, a very pungent smell of truffle oil, again with the chard, and this is the brown order. You can also see there's massive <coughs> chunks of prawns in there. There's one there. Uh, Peter wants to eat, but you know, it's not for Peter, it's for, it's for you viewers. Get stuck in, Peter. Oh, it's not like Peter to serve me first. I still have some manners. All right. Vestiges of last minute manners. Okay. And my wife would tell me off. He's single. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm married. <laughs> we have ordered a lot of food, obviously, but we're here to try everything out. I mean, this is, we can't keep coming backwards and forth. Just from the smell of it, and the sheer reduction of the, they made like a risotto. Um, this right, this orzo pasta. pasta. And you can, it's, it's good. I can, just by smelling it, I can tell you I'm gonna be full. Awesome. Mushrooms in it. It's got uh, Ooh, it's chard. It's got. Uh, That's good. Mmm. Wow. Very creamy. That's very really creamy. It's um. There's a bit of white wine in there. Wow, good, right? Very good. I don't know if I'm happy with the chard in it. It's adding contrast. This isn't a bad thing, but the go-to vegetable here is definitely chard, isn't it? At this restaurant. Yeah, because I like it. Mm. I like chard because it's got that earthy flavour. It's like, it's like beet tops. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the last dish is, you know how it is in Turkey, everywhere sells mussels and you get them stuffed, that is it. Finally, Belgium I think is, is the origin, right? Um, yeah, Belgians are well known for it, the French bull man, yeah. yeah more, so finally here we are, on the mouth of the Bosphorus, having more Marnier and we went with the rock for Sauce. Um, let's show you what it looks like. So you've got big fresh mussels in it, big shells. Um, I haven't tasted the sauce yet, so we'll see what that's like in a moment, but I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm just curious. I mean, mussels are mussels. Let's get in deep. Let's get the sauce. So that really adds, so you can really smell yeah. the wine, right? See, I think it's quite subtle, it's quite good. This is not off the street. Oh wow. Wow, right? Sounds good. Yeah. The rock for the rock for cheese is not strong at all. I mean there's flavor there. I'm kind of slightly regretting that we went for rock for because it was no I don't know. The most interesting but don't be it's actually full of sand, but that's normal, it's fresh, it just means it's fresh. For me, this has been the least overwhelming. No, this has been the least satisfying dish. It's tasty, it's different, but 
if I had to rank anything, this would be at the bottom because it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's muscle. I mean, how much meat do you get in these things? Not a lot. Well, we didn't order dessert. And I know you guys always complain that I never talk about the dessert. But the, the, the guys here, they were just so nice. They gave us fritterolls after eights, which are basically profiteroles, mint ice cream, profiterole again on top, and then this gooey chocolate. I'll show you the, maybe you can see from there. Very yummy looking indeed. And uh, Peter and I will get stuck in and tell you what it tastes like. Do we need encouragement? No. <laughs> no. Oh, crunchy, nice. crunchy profiterole. I like it. It's a good I sign. Hate it. I hate it when they make soggy profiteroles. It's a good sign, crunchy profiterole. And, well, yep. Mmm. That works. Yeah, there's after eight chocolates. I'm not a huge fan, but. Like everything that I've seen so far. Nothing is overpowering. It's all subtle, subtle tastes, and, and that's the chocolate's not too sweet. The the, the the mint ice cream isn't too minty. It's just subtle. Um, and the profiterole, big big thumbs up on, on the profiterole for me. Crunchy profiterole on the outside is key. That works. I mean, for me, value for money is as I said. It's can I make it at home? Um, I, yeah, but I don't think you could make that at home. Not that range of stuff we just had. You think about the salads, all those different vegetables in it. You think about all the different leaves. You're now into bunches and bunches of stuff lying around the house to make one salad. You think about the, the clever stuff that went on, like the celeriac crisps on top of the orzo pasta. You think about the shrimps you've now got to go and make and peel and the mess on that. That was a really, really well accomplished meal to me. Making hand making dough with squid ink in it. Not a hope. You're not going to be getting down that road. You're right. Going off, buying some octopus, roasting it, getting it tender, perfect like that. Having a truffle oil. It's an expensive ingredient. It's fifteen pounds a bottle in the UK. Um, think about sort of making fish or things. You can do it, yes, but you're not going to do it all at the same time like that. No, you're no, you're absolutely right. I think for me, um, that was so that was approximately two hundred lira each for us. I mean, the whole lot, you're right, with a glass of wine. And the mussels. And yeah. the mussels, and yeah. Two it's espressos. Two espressos. And a free dessert, yeah. And they gave us a free dessert. So I am, hand on heart, gonna give this a very close 10. I, don't wanna, I can't give anywhere a 10, obviously, but I'm gonna <laughs> give. Um, this is a nine and a half for me, a nine and a half out of 10. And I'll give it a straight nine and a half out of 10 as well. In UK money, uh, 72 pounds bargain not an expensive meal by London standards and a very very good meal uh, by London standards so I think you know really really up there for me I thoroughly enjoyed it I'd come back again definitely yeah. I think a city like clever a metropolitan city like Istanbul needs to have more diversity in the food and we definitely found it here and yeah. um, I want to just take this opportunity to thank my good friend Peter for thank joining me on this journey of uh, Food in Focus and uh, why don't you tell you guys out there to subscribe, hit that subscribe button and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and join me next time, perhaps not with pizza, Aww. sadly, for another trip with Food in Focus. Thanks guys, cheers, Take care. see you later.